case briefs and so much more. LS Data Scott, what you looking for? The Supreme Court of the United States heard the case City of Indianapolis v. Edmond in 2000, which examined the constitutionality of a highway checkpoint program in Indianapolis aimed at detecting and preventing illegal narcotics. The plaintiffs allege that the program violated their constitutional rights, leading to a lawsuit challenging the program's compliance with the Fourth Amendment. Previously, the Court of Appeals decided that the checkpoints contravened the Fourth Amendment. The Supreme Court affirmed this decision, ruling that the checkpoint program's primary purpose must be specific, such as detecting illegal aliens, drunk drivers, or another specific type of crime. If a checkpoint program's primary purpose is indistinguishable from the general interest in crime control, it is not approved under the Fourth Amendment. The majority opinion stated that the Indianapolis checkpoint program was constitutional in line with earlier cases where checkpoints for combating drunk driving and intercepting illegal immigrants were deemed legal. The parties agreed that the checkpoints were operated in a predetermined manner and under strict guidelines with brief, open view examinations of the vehicles and drivers. However, the Supreme Court ruled that the Indianapolis Narcotics Checkpoint Program violated the Fourth Amendment due to its primary purpose of uncovering evidence of ordinary criminal wrongdoing. It highlighted the importance of balancing competing interests and program effectiveness in checkpoint programs, stating that lawful secondary purposes were insufficient for justification. The court held that sobriety and border checkpoints remained legal, but general crime control checkpoints required individualized suspicion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data Scott, what you're looking for? Is it LSE.law? Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of climbing.